If you are currently working in the help desk and are thinking about transitioning into cybersecurity, the time to act is now. With so many advancements taking place in IT and especially with the boom and development of artificial intelligence, you need to make sure that you're not left behind. So ideally, you should have transitioned yesterday. But don't worry, in this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step roadmap on how you can transition into cybersecurity from the help desk. I've done it in my career already, and I will tell you exactly how to do it. So make sure you watch this video till the very end. First things first, working in the help desk is not bad at all. That's exactly where I started my career as well. And it's a great entry point for anyone who then wants to specialize into different domains of information technology. But many times what happens is people get stuck in the loop of working in a help desk role. And if you're watching this video, good news. The first step is that you already want to get out of help desk and be a cybersecurity professional. So before doing anything, it's very important to understand your strong points. The strengths of working in a help desk is that 99% of the times your foundations are very strong. Reason being help desk professionals tend to work on a lot of diverse range of IT domains. For example, you could be working on networking related issues. You could be working on operating system related issues. You could be working on database related issues, etc. A help desk role is one of those roles that touches a lot of different aspects of information technology. And that is what helps you stand out. Hence, anyone who's trying to get into cybersecurity as well, I always recommend them to start at the help desk. So part number one is great that you've already got that foundational level knowledge and you can then branch into a more advanced domain of cybersecurity. While working in a help desk role, one of the first things you can do or you should be doing is learning from your L3 engineers. When you're working in a help desk, there's a very high chance that you've got teams working above you where you're the first level of defense and then you escalate matters to the more specialized teams. What you should be doing is making an effort to understand what are these level three engineers doing, be it in network security, be it in databases, be it in operating systems, etc. So as a first action item, the onus is on you. For anyone who's trying to get into cybersecurity, there are a few courses and certifications that are absolutely essential and are industry recognized. Now, I'm going to be sharing two types of resources. The first one is going to be the paid certifications and courses. And the second one is going to be the free ones. Starting off with certifications, if you're working in a help desk role, the first certification you should be getting is the CompTIA Security Plus. Reason for this is the CompTIA Security Plus is a well-known industry recognized certification for anyone who's trying to get into cybersecurity. Look at any of the cybersecurity roles today. Most of them have got the CompTIA Security Plus listed as a prerequisite. So the first thing you do is get your CompTIA Security Plus. Now I understand that the prices for the CompTIA Security Plus is pretty expensive. So what you can do is Professor Meso has got free YouTube playlists on the Security Plus. So you can instead at least try and get that knowledge of the Security Plus course and don't worry about the certification for now. That is if you're on a budget. Along with getting the CompTIA Security Plus, it's also very important to strengthen your foundational level concepts. Yes, you're working on these domains in your help desk role, but let's say for example, you're not. There are three domains that I highly recommend you should be strengthening your foundations in if you want to look to get into cybersecurity. And those are networking, operating systems, and databases. When it comes to networking from a certification perspective, the CompTIA Network Plus is a great certification that you can do. Once again, Professor Messer has got a completely free YouTube playlist where you can watch those videos and at least get some sort of networking foundational knowledge in. For those that are looking to take it one notch higher, you can also do the CCNA. However, I strongly recommend that for the use case of getting into cybersecurity, doing the CCNA can be an overkill. To understand operating systems, especially Linux and databases, there are a lot of free YouTube playlists that are offered by Network Chuck, Free Code Camp, etc. I've made a complete video on a roadmap on how to get into cybersecurity using free resources only. The link should be on the screen sometime now, so please click on that and you can get all of those resources in the description section of that video. Once you get your foundations in place from a theoretical knowledge perspective, it's very important to know that cybersecurity is not about certifications only. You'll have a lot of YouTubers selling different courses or asking you to do X, Y, Z certifications, but they're not telling you the truth. Cybersecurity is, I would say, 20% certifications and 80% of practical hands-on experience. Now, I know that if you're working in a help desk role, or let's say you're not working in IT at all and want to get into cybersecurity, 
getting that hands-on knowledge is probably difficult. But what you can do is you can build your own cybersecurity labs. All you need is a laptop with a hypervisor, let's say VirtualBox, which is free, and two virtual machines, a Kali Linux, again, which is free, and an Ubuntu VM, once again, which is free. You set all of this up, you have a good ecosystem to build your own cybersecurity home lab. You can throw in a PFSense firewall, you can set up a seam solution, you can try and attack from the Kali Linux machine to your Ubuntu machine and see what are the different things you can do within your own home lab infrastructure. I've got a complete playlist on my channel for different home lab scenarios for building a PFSense firewall, a web application firewall, ethical hacking of Android devices, uh, live phishing email simulations and analysis make sure you watch that playlist. It will give you a good understanding of what are the hands-on things you need to do to get into cybersecurity. Along with Home Labs, also ensure to check Hack the Box and Try Hack Me, where they've got a lot of different cybersecurity challenges, which helps you get that all-important hands-on experience as well. Now, when you're looking to get into cybersecurity, there are a lot of roles that offer opportunities to junior level employees. And one of the most common ones is a SOC analyst. You can be a junior SOC analyst and pretty easily enter the cybersecurity domain. To be a SOC analyst, you need to have an understanding of SIEM solutions. Now, when it comes to SIEM solutions, again, as I mentioned, you can practice this in a home lab environment. Uh, you can use tools like Wazo, you can use tools like Splunk. Splunk has also got their own certification course, which you can do to get a good understanding of what exactly a SIEM solution is and how you can use a SIEM solution in a production environment. Another certification that I would like to talk about is the ISC2 Certified in Cybersecurity, which to attempt is free, but once you clear the exam, which is pretty easy and all you need is seven to 10 days to study for this certification. But once you clear this exam, you've then got to pay a USD $50 um, account fee to get that certification on your profile. Once you do all of these things, make sure you build a good cybersecurity resume. There are plenty of free cybersecurity resume templates out there on the internet. You can pick any one of these, make sure you list all the courses that you've done, all the certifications that you've done, create a cybersecurity portfolio for all the home labs that you've done. Make sure you document it, take screenshots, have diagrams, what it does is it gives the recruiter a good understanding of what are the things you know. And what this also does is, is it puts you above the rest of the other candidates that are applying for the same role. Let's address the elephant in the room, which is artificial intelligence. If you're looking to transition into cybersecurity from a help desk role, do you need to focus on artificial intelligence yet? And the answer is no. First, do your basics and get your foundations right. Get into a cybersecurity role first. After that, once you work and you get that industry experience, then you can worry about getting into or learning about artificial intelligence from a cybersecurity perspective. So once you do all of these things, I'm pretty confident that you're going to be in a great position to transition from a help desk role into a cybersecurity role. If you found this video helpful, I'd really like you to drop a like, drop a comment and subscribe to the channel. I've also covered a lot of different cybersecurity topics on this channel. Make sure you check them out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.